एलिस इन द वंडरलैंड एट मैड हेडर्स टी पार्टी देर वॉज वंस अ मैड हेडर अ पीक्यूलियर फेलो हु लिव्ड इन अ स्ट्रेंज लिटल हाउस इन द वर्ड्स ऑफ वंडरलैंड नियर बाय लिव्ड अ फ्रेंड ऑफ हेज द मार्च हेयर वन डे द मार्च हेयर हर्ड दैट इट वॉज द मैड हेडर्स बर्थडे so he baked and iced a birthday cake then down the woodland path he went singing as he skipped along very merriest birthday to you the very merriest birthday to you the mad hatter was delighted he called his friend the dormouse a sleepy little soul and what a jolly time they all did have they decided a birthday party was the best of all possible fun the next day the mad hatter kept thinking of that party and of all the jolly songs they sang he did wish they could have an other party the march hare was thinking about it too how he longed for another piece of birthday cake and the sleepy dormouse wished for another cup of tea but it was nobody's birthday that day the mad hatter had just had his the march years was months and months away and the dormouse had been so sleepy when his mother told him about his birthday that he couldn't remember it at all oh me say the march here nothing but unbirdies as far as i can see it really isn't fair only one birthday a year and 364 unbirdies 364 unbirdies cried the mad hatter well fine splendid let's celebrate those so they did every day they had an unbirthday party every day they set up the table hang up the decorations and had birthday cake and tea and after the party they cleared everything away but that soon got tiresome so they set up a great long table underneath the trees they put chairs all around and cups and plates and pots and pots of tea after that they never cleared away when things got messy the mad hatters would call out move down move down and the march hare would call out clean cups clean cups and away they could move to new places at the table so the unbirthday party went on and on and every day they happily sang a very merry unbirthday to you a very merry unbirthday to you all that singing and moving around got to be too much for this sleepy dormouse since he was so fond of tea he just chose himself a teapot climbed in and stayed there now and then he would open a drowsy eye and join in a bit of the fun as alice walked through the wonderland woods seeing the most unusual sights she heard the singing through the trees it sounds like a birthday party she thought so she hurried along to see and through the mad hatter's gate she stepped she saw the colored lanterns hanging from the trees and cakes on the table and she heard the jolly song a very merry unbirthday to you to who a very merry unbirthday to me then the mad hatter saw her no room he cried what are you doing here why There seems to be lots of room. Alice said, 
I heard you singing in the woods and it sounded so good. It did, cried the mad hatter. What a charming child coming. My dear, sit down, sit down. They urged her into an empty chair. Whose birthday is it? Alice asked. No one's. It's an unbirthday party, they said, and explained what an unbirthday party was. Why, then it's my unbirthday too, Alice said. A very merry unbirthday to you, a very merry unbirthday to you. Course the Mad Hater and the March Hare Why don't you have some tea? They asked. Yes, thank you, Alice said. Just half a cup, please. The Mad Hater snatched up a curving knife and he cut a cup in two. My, said Alice. I wish Dina were here to see this. And who is Dina? The March here asked. Dina is my cat, Alice said. Cat, 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 cried a horrified voice. And the dormouse at the sound of that dreaded word popped out of his teapot up in the air. Well, I never thought. Alice began as the dormouse floated slowly down singing to himself. Would you like some more tea? Asked the mad hitter. How can I have more? Asked Alice when I haven't had any yet. Oh, well, all right. Don't. Slug the mad hitter and he drank the tree himself. Move down, move down, cried the march hare. Then, clean cups, clean cups, move down, scolded the mad hitter, pushing Alice out of her chair. This is the silliest party I have ever seen, said Alice. I'd rather have one birthday party a year and know what I am about. She stalked out of the gate and off through the woods. No one seemed to notice that she had left. She could hear them singing behind her. A very merry unbirthday to us. There they are singing to this very day, drinking cups of unbirthday tea. If you should wander through Wonderland, the Wonderlands of Dream, perhaps you will find a little house in the woods and hear voices singing loud and free. A very merry unbirthday to you. To who? A very merry unbirthday to me. The end. Thanks for watching.